you're in a camper van, a motorhome, or even car camping overnight, in a lay-by or an other roadside pulling, in a supermarket car park, in a pub car park, or even on some campsites. And if you're thinking of having a drink of beer, yeah. Yeah. or a few glasses of wine, a proper short, a red lot yeah. Or maybe even something stronger. Then please take a few minutes to watch this video. Or well, your next trip could be in one of these. <laughs> and it must be serious time. <laughs> so we've got glasses. Where am I? Huh? Alright, mine are here. So we said that we do a video about being drunk in charge of your vehicle. So it's taken us a while to sort it out because we've been in touch with a policeman friend and we've also spoken to a JP who we know, haven't mm -hmm. we? And we've got some uh, details of now about being drunk in charge. So it's, we've, we've got our newsreader glasses on so we can read it. It's a bit of a, a, a grey area um, for the defendant, um, what is in charge of the vehicle. Basically, if you're in the vehicle and you have the keys, then you can be classed as in charge. Dios. <laughs> we have problems with the lights. <laughs> you're in your motorhome or your camper van and you're parked up for the night and you've had a drink or you fancy a drink. Well, we've been doing some research about where you stand with the law and being drunk in charge. And it's quite frightening. It is. Um, it really depends on um, the interpretation of the law. But so that we get it right, we've printed this out. We have been in touch with the police and also spoken to someone who's a JP at the courts. Uh, we've printed it out to make it clearer. Not that it is clear. <laughs> it's not clear. The wording is, it's an offence under the Road Traffic Act. Uh, to be in charge of a mechanically propelled vehicle on the road or other public place uh, whilst being unfit due to uh, drink or drugs. Now then, the, this, this is where the grey area is, what's a public place? What constitutes being in charge is there is a, no precise definition in, under the law, uh, but a good indication would be to, that you have the keys on your person or in the ignition or in the vehicle or in the vehicle so that's uh, most people would have the keys somewhere so this is where the gray area comes the other part of the gray area is the um, what constitutes public place so let's go through them lay by public place car park supermarket car park or any other car park public place pub car park or even a campsite depends um, you might have permission from the landlady and landlord to to park up overnight but if the public have got access so it's not gated or it's chained not chained off then it becomes a public place same with uh, campsites some campsites have barriers have gates that are locked at night that's fine that's that's the barrier to uh, to the public but if it, they're just sort of open access, like some farms might be and things like that, then again, it becomes a public place. The other problem is that the charge is... It's not up to the prosecution to prove anything. If you've got the keys on you, they, that's it. You're in charge of a vehicle while unfit. So the burden of defence becomes is on you or the onus of defense is on you um, it's a reverse burden in this case it's not, not guilt, uh, innocent until proved guilty you have to prove your innocence or you have to prove there's no intent to to, to drive the vehicle so, which is difficult um, a couple of ways that you could prove no intent to drive or to move the vehicle now we're not we're not saying this would work we're just suggestions from us and suggestions from the police chap that we talked to policeman that we talked to a key safe outside the vehicle 
So you park up, you have a magnetic key safe under your vehicle, so it's hidden from anyone being able to get in. And you put your key out there for the night, you can still lock your doors from inside anyway. That's one way. That's a, probably the best way of proof of no intent to drive. The other way, which we thought of, was having your awning out. If you're on a campsite or wherever, uh, it's not so easy obviously in a lay-by or, or whatever, but if you had the awning out, then really you are proving that you're going to be staying somewhere overnight or for longer. It is a grey area. Um, the police and courts recognise that it's a grey area. Having said that, the laws covering alcohol consumption in the UK vary. I'm not sure what the law is in, around Europe or further afield. And this is just sort of a general UK um, warning, aid. I don't know how, what you'd describe it. It's just it's for just a little bit of information, really, yeah, isn't it? Just it's make just... people aware of how, how uh, exposed they could be just having a drink in their camper van. Don't get caught. It's not worth it. Believe me, as you might have seen from a previous video, it's not worth it. No. Hope it helps. Yeah. Um, don't want you getting a knock on the door late evening or early hours. Spoiling holiday. Spoiling a lot more than your holiday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's that's it really. Um, we'd like to thank the friends that uh, took part at the beginning of the video just to, to, to lighten it up a little bit. Um, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. If you like the video give us a thumbs up, if you didn't like it give us a thumbs down and please share this video because it is an important one we think and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to us, click on the little bell icon and that will notify you when we've got a new video out. Thanks for watching. Take care. And that's mine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, we're not going to clink. <laughs> Thanks so. for watching. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cue and credits. <laughs> If you're in a camper van. <laughs> I thought you were practicing for this. Okay. It'll count you in. When you're ready. In a supermarket car park. Yep. Again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, King. Oh, right. In a pub car car. <laughs> I'm dressed as cooking boxes. Probably not. Probably not. Channel. Why is she starting her engine? Why yeah, why have you got the engine on? Because I'm in my car. I am going in a minute. But yeah, that's a very good point. You don't want the engine running down. No. I was in autopilot. <laughs> what am I saying? Then please take a few minutes. <laughs> then please take a few minutes. <laughs> to watch this video. Go away. You put me off. Should we do several? Yeah. 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 And I put you off. <laughs> <laughs> see my belly button. <laughs> he's, he's, look, look. Look what they're doing. Go on, yeah. get your belly out for the camera. Come on. You're going to distract. Don't go shy now. We're just standing here in the sun. Yeah. What am I saying? Then please take a few minutes. Then please take a few minutes. Do watch this video. Then please take a few minutes. <laughs> Excuse me, one moment. Then please. Hi. No, where are you? I'm trying to get them. <laughs> it's going on. <laughs> then please. I've never taken so long to say anything in my life. Then please take a few moments to watch this video. Then please take a few moments to watch this video. Minutes. Yes. Then is it moments? Minutes. One, one way is to not have the keys in the ignition.